What's up guys and it's all here. Right now you're looking at the official look of the Huawei P40, the next big thing from Huawei. With their big success in China, Huawei is not backing down. They're coming on with their next flagship phone and they're also working on softer side of the things which I'm going to discuss later on in this video. Now we also got the live look of the P40 Pro. We're going to discuss that as well but let's see the official renders because these renders give us the best idea of how the overall design is on the P40. 40 family. So basically, Huawei's flagship phone is like a mixture between the Galaxy S10 and the Galaxy S20. It's a pill-shaped punch hole which is a lot bigger than the Galaxy S10 Plus. It's kind of like the S10 Plus 5G pill hole. This is definitely very noticeable. I'm not a huge fan of pill-shaped punch hole, but if this is rocking an ultra-wide angle lens, then I think it's going to be justifiable, but we'll see more information on that. And it's not just a punch hole OLED panel. This is a quad-curve punch hole panel, so... For the first time, we're seeing a smartphone with quad curve sides all the way from the top and end and the sides are curved. And no, it's not going to be as curved as the waterfall display that we have seen on the Mate 30. So it's still a decent amount of curve on all sides, pretty much a quad curve look. This will help this phone to retain a really minimum chin design. As for the back, it's kind of similar to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. So we have five cameras on the back of the P40 Pro model and four on the normal P40 model. Huawei is still bringing its periscope zoom setup that they brought with the P30. The difference this time is that it's going to be able to go up to 10x optical zoom without losing any quality, whereas the previous one was up to 5 x only it's gonna be 8 megapixel compared to 48 that we're gonna see on the galaxy s20 so it's a bit of a different approach we'll see how the end result will be now the main camera sensor is said to be 52 megapixel it could be the new imx 708 from sony which is by the way an unannounced sensor this phone might be the first one to use that and it's said to be a serious competitor to samsung's new sensor that we're gonna see with the s20 family and perhaps the best ultra wide angle lens on any smartphone, the Cine ultra wide lens of the Mate 30, will make its way to the P40 family. It's gonna be a 40 megapixel ultra wide angle lens. Most likely, the P40 family will not be able to record videos up to 8K. It will surely be up to 4K because it's gonna rock the Kirin 990 chipset of the Mate 30 family. Last year's P30 was able to do 50x zoom. This time around, we might be able to see 100x zoom ability on the P40 family as well. Similar to the Galaxy S20 Ultra. We also got the live look of the P40 Pro. It's just a side of the screen just showing how the curve will be on the phone. The display is set to be 2K at 90Hz, so we're not sure if Huawei will go up to 120Hz. It might just be a 90Hz display refresh rate phone. Again, nothing is confirmed regarding the specs. The 90Hz refresh rate is something that is rumored at the moment. So other than the normal ultra-wide and periscope zoom, we have a macro lens as well as a TOFC sensor. If you personally ask me, I really like the back design of the phone just as much as I like the Galaxy S20 Ultra, but when it comes to the front, I have mixed opinions. I obviously don't like the pill hole shape design. I think Samsung's implementation is much better, but if it actually brings something really good to the table, like a really nice ultra wide angle lens, something like we have seen on the Pixel 3 XL, then it's kind of forgivable. Again, let me know your thoughts on that. Now, unfortunately, Huawei P40 family will not be coming with Google services. This is going to be the main 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 thing when it comes to these flagship phones this will completely decide the sales factor of these devices and in which markets huawei will launch as of now huawei has worked really hard on its hms which is huawei mobile services which is a replacement to google services they've made replacement applications to all google apps such as their maps their play store more and more developers are working every single day to completely rival google's android now once again it's going to be very tough for huawei I don't think they're going to launch this phone in a lot of markets in the start at first. It will come to China like the Mate 30, but it will definitely come to more markets compared to the Mate 30 much earlier because Huawei wants to fight back and they want to see how this will go. And eventually when the second 90 day period is expired, we'll see some definitive answers to huawei's relationship with us now battery sizes are expected to get bigger on the p40 family there was a rumor about graphene battery but that was a lie that is something huawei is working on and we're probably gonna see it in about two years of time but what we can see is the ultimate 65 watts of fast charging so this could be on the p40 pro model again not much is out regarding the specs so yeah this is the official look of the huawei p40 pro and we also have a slight live look 
glimpse of this phone as well. Once again, it's coming with EMUI based on Android without Google. So let me know your thoughts on the official design of the B40 Pro. What do you think about it compared to the Galaxy S20 Ultra? And as always, be sure to subscribe for daily tech videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.